This is Dr. John LaPook for First Look. So today we have an intriguing, although preliminary, study it has to do with stem cells. Now you've all heard about stem cells. These are these tiny cells that can potentially morph into any other cell in the body, and they've been used with great success to treat conditions such as leukemia. They've been life-saving. And you've also maybe heard about buzz about using stem cells to treat patients with diabetes. Diabetes um, is a condition where there's loss of insulin-producing ability of the pancreas. And these cells that make insulin are called beta cells. In type 1 diabetes, which affects about 1 to 2 million Americans, there are about 21 million Americans who have diabetes, about 5 to 10 percent have type 1. In type 1 diabetes, you actually have destruction of the beta cells, the insulin-producing cells of the pancreas, by an immune system that's just off. It, it mistakenly attacks itself. Today, we actually have a study that looks like it's showing how you could use stem cells today to treat type 1 diabetes. Um, and basically what the study does is it uses a gentle form of chemotherapy and immunotherapy to very much dampen and depress a patient's own immune system. Before you do this, you take stem cells out of the patient and you put them aside. And they, what they were looking for was to see if this new, these new stem cells that were put back could develop into a new type of immune system that would be more tolerant to the pancreas and wouldn't destroy it, um, and wouldn't destroy the insulin-producing cells. So um, that's what the study's about. To find out the results, of course, you're going to have to tune into the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric.